This virtual tour video was designed by nurses and by patients who have been exactly where you are today. We took their ideas and created this video to help prepare you for your first chemotherapy and to introduce you to our facility and staff. We'll take you through a typical first day of treatment, then answer some frequently asked questions. We hope this gives you, your family, and even your friends a better idea of what to expect on your first day. On arrival to the Cancer Center, you'll be greeted by our valet service, which is available during regular hours Monday through Friday, 7.30 until 5. After hours and on weekends, you can park in one of the spaces directly in front of the Cancer Center. If those are full, you can park in any of the spaces in front of the building next door or on the corner of Pendleton and Ashley. When you first arrive, check in at the front desk and have a seat in our lobby. The receptionist will let the staff know you're here. Our system requires a new registration with each visit. The registration staff will call your name when they're ready for you. You may have lab work scheduled. If so, you'll go first to the lab to have your blood drawn. If you have a port, the lab nurse may access it to obtain your lab work and leave it accessed for your chemo. Most chemotherapy drugs are based on weight, so you'll be weighed to allow the nurses and pharmacists to accurately calculate your dose. When you enter the infusion room, you'll be assigned a comfortable reclining chair. If you need to be monitored closely, you'll be positioned closer to the nurse's station. Curtains separate the chairs to provide privacy, and each chair has a personal TV. You can use the call light if you need to speak with your nurse about anything or need assistance with eating or going to the restroom. There is one private room that's typically reserved for procedures more complex than standard chemotherapy or for special circumstances that may require more privacy. Let your nurse know if you'd like to be close to one of the two restrooms in the infusion room. You can have a friend or family member with you in the infusion room, but we do ask that you limit it to two visitors at a time. Children need to be at least 12 years old to visit the infusion room. If you have younger children, they can wait in the lobby, but must be accompanied by an adult. The dietitian and the social worker will visit you at some point during your first infusion. They'll introduce themselves and conduct an assessment to document any needs you might have for their services. The dietitian can help you with dietary recommendations during treatment, suggesting food choices that help you maintain your weight and nutrition. Treatment may cause weight loss or weight gain, so we encourage healthy eating habits throughout treatment. The dietitian can monitor your weight, and if you find it difficult because of taste changes and decreased appetite to get enough calories in, she can help you obtain supplements that make it a little easier to keep your nutrition up. The social worker can help with a wide range of issues, such as emotional support, counseling, stress management, assistance with disability and financial aid, just to name a few. If you are a female getting a chemotherapy drug that causes you to lose your hair, you can choose a hat free of charge from our selection at the Cancer Center. You might consider going to your hairstylist before you lose your hair to discuss options like wigs, turbans, or other hair coverings. Hair loss does not generally begin before your second cycle of treatment. You may notice thinning and more hair on your pillow, in the shower, and in your brush or comb. Some patients choose to shave their heads with the help of friends and family once it starts to thin or shed. The social worker will also talk to you about our Look Good Feel Better class, a fun evening with makeup, wigs, headscarves, and beauty tips led by a local volunteer cosmetologist to help you look and feel your best while under treatment. A hospital chaplain will visit with you during your course of treatment. You are welcome to have your pastor, rabbi, or priest come visit while you're in the infusion room or to decline these services altogether. Before she starts your infusion, your nurse will review in detail the drugs your doctor has ordered, the side effects, home care instructions, and emphasize anything you should call us about, such as a fever or pain or nausea that's not adequately controlled by your med. Your vital signs will be taken before and after the infusion, and depending on the drug, possibly several more times as needed. 
Your nurse will typically be caring for four patients at a time. During lunch, that ratio increases while half the nurses take a break. Before your nurse breaks for lunch, she'll report to another nurse the status of her patients. So someone familiar with your situation will be looking after you while she's gone. If you're here during lunch, a light lunch tray will be served, typically a sandwich, drink, and a cookie. Soup is also available. If you prefer, you can have a family member or friend bring you lunch from home or your favorite restaurant. We also have a microwave and refrigerator that you're welcome to use. The hospital has two dining choices, the cafeteria and the Allspice Cafe. If you get cold, ask your nurse or one of our volunteers for a blanket from our warmer. Feel free to bring something to occupy your time while you're receiving treatment. A lot of patients bring crossword puzzles to work or books to read. We provide you with earbuds so you can watch TV or listen to music. Some patients sleep and others visit with friends or family. Because there are so many small tasks required to get a patient ready for treatment and deliver it safely, a 30-minute infusion may require a two-hour appointment. Please be patient with us. The pharmacy doesn't begin to mix your chemo until after your IV has been established. Many cancer treatments are complex and we take your safety very seriously. We use a triple check system for your safety. After the pharmacy mixes your chemo and checks the dose, two nurses verify the drug and the dose are correct, comparing it to the order written by your doctor. It may seem like there's a delay in getting your infusion ready, but you can trust that we're busy behind the scenes, preparing your medication, checking your lab results, verifying your dose, and when needed, discussing your case with your doctor and other providers. We offer our patients a photo booth experience to document your treatment milestones. End of treatment, getting through your first day, sharing the day with a special visitor, anything you'd like to commemorate with a fun photo. Ask your nurse if you're interested or would like more information. For your first treatment, don't schedule anything else that day. Until you get a sense of how you're going to feel after your treatment, it's better to give yourself the day off after you leave the cancer center. Take it easy that evening. Make sure you have all the meds you need for nausea and pain and take them as directed. If you have pain, don't wait until it gets severe to treat it. Pain medication works best when they're taken on a regular basis before the pain gets out of hand. As far as activity while you're under treatment, you can generally do whatever you feel like doing. There may be times when your blood counts are low and you're at risk for infection or bleeding. We'll instruct you on the things to avoid to decrease your risk of getting sick or injured during this time. Otherwise, we encourage you to be active during your treatment. Moderate regular exercise is an excellent habit to develop and helps not only with sleep, stress, and depression, but has also been shown to decrease the risk of recurrence in a number of cancers. If you have any questions about your care or need to report a symptom, you can call your nurse navigator. Your navigator is an RN who works with your doctor to meet your needs and provide seamless care. She's available during regular clinic hours. After hours, on weekends and holidays, the medical oncologist on call is available by calling the hospital operator at 229-433-1000. The doctor on call may not be your regular doctor, but all of our oncologists have access to your medical record and can handle any problems that arise. Dress comfortably and bring a sweater or light jacket. The infusion room can be a little chilly. If you have an implanted port, dress for easy access. That usually means a loose v-neck top or a button-up top. If we'll be starting an IV in your arm instead of using a port, wear short sleeves or something with loose sleeves. Eat a light breakfast if you have a morning appointment or a light lunch if your appointment is in the afternoon. There's no need to fast unless you're specifically told by your doctor or nurse to do so for special labs.
Take your regular meds. If you've been given prescriptions, get them filled well before your first infusion. Whether they're pre-meds to take before chemo or meds for pain or nausea after chemo. Remember to take any pre-meds prescribed before you arrive for your first treatment. For your first infusion appointment, it's best to bring someone with you. Some of the pre-meds we give may make you too sleepy to drive safely. It's also better to have a second pair of eyes and ears to better retain any education and information about your treatment. A port, sometimes called a life port, port a cath, or power port, is placed just under the skin in the upper chest by a surgeon. It consists of a small disc-shaped reservoir and a tube that is tunneled under the skin and directly into a large vein. It's a semi-permanent IV that can be accessed with a special needle instead of starting an IV in your arm every time you come in for treatment. We remove the needle at the end of the infusion until you need your next treatment. One of the main advantages is that your smaller arm veins are spared the wear and tear of sometimes irritating infusions. Use of a larger vein in your chest is more comfortable and reliable than having to undergo repeated IV starts. If you find it uncomfortable for us to access your port or you're bothered by needles, we can give you a prescription for Emla Cream, a local anesthetic that you apply topically. About an hour before we access your port, you apply the Emla Cream over the port and tape it in place. By the time we access you, the area is numb and provides you with a more comfortable experience. If you have a power port placed, you may receive a booklet like this that contains information about your port and an identification card. Keep the card in your wallet. You may need to present it when you go for your scans or have your port accessed outside of the cancer center. The infusion itself is not painful. There may be brief discomfort as we access your port or start your IV, but this disappears quickly. Your doctor may order new Lasta or Nupagen shots to help keep your white blood cell count up after chemo. Some patients have no side effects whatsoever, but others report they have significant pain mainly in their pelvic bones. The shots have an effect on the bone marrow where white blood cells are made, but we don't know why some people have no discomfort and others do. In addition to your regular pain meds, you can use over-the-counter Pepsid and Claritin. Ask your doctor or nurse how to take these meds to make you more comfortable. We typically give you IV medications before we start your chemotherapy to decrease side effects and make the infusion comfortable. You may get sleepy, but it's very rare to become nauseated during treatment. Not all chemotherapy drugs cause nausea, but we always give you a prescription for nausea medicine. Make sure you get all prescriptions filled before you come for treatment so that you have all the meds you need when you get home. If you don't feel your nausea medicine is working well, please call the nurse navigator and she can call you in a prescription for a different medication. We hope this video has provided you with useful information that will help prepare you for your first day of treatment. Please share it with friends and family who will be going on this journey with you. Watch it several times as you plan for your first day. If you have to be treated for cancer, you're in the best place. We're close to home. We care about you. We know you by name. We're in this together.